All right, what's good, guys? We got game number two between Anatand and Baltoon. It's Anatand playing his well-known Civ of the Delhi Sultanate, and this is Rocky Canyon as his opponent. It is Baltoon playing the English. Hard Civ to break, hard Civ to play against just in general. One thing about this map, though, it is if it gets to later game there's these three main wood lines and that's about it but if Baltoon's getting a later game he's probably pretty happy against the Delhi Delhi is a uh, sieve known for feudal known for castle age but not much further than that <laughs> <clears throat> getting these upgrades coming on in the Delhi side it most likely is going to be the tower of victory coming out for anatan need something to match the longbows will probably want to try to get some map control get some pressure because he wants these sacred sites and he wants all three of the sacred sites does not want to allow english to delay this game to extend this game at all Baltoon going with the quicker age up or going with just the food and uh, gold opening not any early wood not any early wheelbarrow or farms or anything of the sort actually heading on over to some straggler trees as they are in quite close proximity. And 10 decent little sheep drop off for himself. Nothing too crazy though. Gonna really be feudal age when this game like opens up and we start kind of seeing these slight differences and, and how these builds are gonna play out. Is it gonna be kind of aggressive or is it gonna be boomy? Um, obviously for English, we expect it to be a little bit defensive, but you can't do that fully against Delhi as allowing them to capture all the sacred sites is a death sentence. <laughs> the council hall being dropped and as expected tower of victory going along on the other side for anatan so typical uh landmarks that you'd be expecting from both of these players if i know anatan he's going to cancel piety once he gets enough for that scholar we'll actually queue up a scholar as he's aging up to feudal to get that extra bit of research timing once feudal age does hit prioritizing sanctity And you can already tell what Baltoon's plan is. It is not booming. It is not playing defensive. He knows he needs to take the map control. He knows he needs to contest these sacred sites. So that's exactly what he's going to do. Dropping not only his council hall, which is a double archer production, but having the barracks to go with it. Make sure to protect up those longbows that English know and love probably a little too much. Baltoon doing a little bit of scouting on the other side, making sure to tuck real close next to the edge of the map or else you are in TC range. Although Delhi, not a civilization that uh, has villagers all tucked up next to the TC early on. So not able to jump inside and get that early scout pick if he did. very very similar timings on the age up we got like four minutes and like 405 anatan's able to queue up all these extra techs and as i expected the second scholar is inside so we'll quicken up all these techs sanctity on the way he's already getting all these eco upgrades as you see in the upper side but english already moving out on the map three longbows a spear and more longbows in queue. So Baltoon's plan is to put some pressure on Anatan. Anatan forced to react early. He was dropping a stables. Instead, he's dropping an archer range, but you don't want this up front and forward. Longbow is gonna be able to potentially deny up this wood line, deny up this range, and double forward wood line is actually a very hard pressure point for Anatan. This is 
not going to be an easy uh, hold for him as you already saw how much military Baltoon is pushing out. So Archer's already starting to be masked up. That Stables is being dropped, has plenty of sheep to fall back on. And look at the positioning of the scout of Baltoon. Super aggressively, he wants to start pressuring up. And as I said, these longbows, they can start being annoying on this wood line. First couple shots coming in. Not only able to hit a vill, able to get a couple shots on the Archer and just use this range so effectively. Horseman on its way. Pop cap reach though. And the spears are already there. And then oh, pulls back the horseman really well. Longbow's just still kiting out, getting a good amount of damage here. And Longbow's trading for the archer. Spears have to stay alive or else the horseman will run a rampage. But Baltoon showing us some perfect micro with these longbows and using that range so effectively. Scout still alive, able to get more and more damage, more and more trades, another archer pickup. And pushing these villagers to the back side of the wood line. Scout repositions and fully forces the reposition of these villagers. Not only this, it might uh, force another lumber camp. You can already see how much Anatan is hurting on the wood. He needs to be queuing up these archers, needs to be queuing up these horsemen but not really able to do so, not able to defend this too effectively yet. A couple of the spearmen being sniped. Good micro here by Anatan. And just this constant back and forth, this push-pull game, but the spearmen step up. Baltoon still sniping out these archers on the other side, still keeping his longbow numbers healthy enough. You only need a few spears to, det to deter the few horsemen away, and soon enough, the longbows, they're going to start doing effective damage against the horsemen as well. And it seems like Baltoon has been calling his number now and thinks he has made an effective enough trades, so pulling a villager up to drop that outpost forward, give himself that network of castles bonus to match the tower of uh, victory bonus on the other side. Spears pull up, few more horsemen here. Spears not stepping, too worried about the archers on the other side. Longbow still continuing to kite and not too many spears left, left as they are quite low health. Archers uh, doing an effective job and Anatan forcing back the longbows until reinforcements arrive. Just slowly continuing to hold for himself, not taking any vill damage, and that's a key. But if this outpost goes up, this gets so much harder for Anatan. Baltoon, in the meantime, kind of going untouched on the eco game, moving over to the deer. So going to get a lovely food eco boost now that he has run out of sheep, though. But outpost coming in, this is after all these beneficial trades. And Anatan, not sure if he's going to be able to deny this. Outpost getting a little bit closer to finishing. Looks like Anatan spots it out. He's stepping forward, decides it is time. Villager cancels the outpost. And then the horsemen turn on away. Just continue trading back and forth, back and forth. Horseman able to get a decent circle around. A lot of effective damage on these longbows before the spears close the gap. And only a few more spears alive. Anatan taking a really good fight here and finally might be able to push out of his base. Finally might be able to secure some sacred sites for himself. But as we say that, the last archer falls. The last horseman going to go with it as well. Actually, Baltoon sniping down... Yep, the last horseman and the villager moves back forward to go onto the outpost yet again. Anatan does have this efficient production, moving out to the deer himself as well, and still yet to be able to get any sacred sites.
Baltoon going over to the stone, going for a secondary TC behind this pressure. So starting to fall back, starting to fade and play this defensive game has delayed Anatan so well and so effectively here. A couple of these horsemen finally trying to kill some of these reinforcing longbows. This is really going to do a good job deterring some of this pressure away. As you see one longbow already get picked off and the rest of the mass falling back with it. Military numbers finally favoring Anatan's side. Scholar. Moving out to the sacred site, Anatan saying it is time. It is his time to push out and get the power that Delhi know and love too well, which is sacred site gold. Baltoon getting really close to the wood he needs for that secondary TC. Anatan circling around with those horsemen. Wanted to move forward with the scholar on his side, but Scout doing a great job seeing anything and everything there. Anatan should know that the secondary TC is about to be dropped. The question is, where is it going to be dropped? Baltoon tracking those horsemen so well, just pulling back those Vils. Vils look like they're grouping. Secondary TC might just be on gold. Secondary TC is on the gold. And Horseman just causing a little bit of idle time, not too much damage. Finally, Anatan getting Sacred Sight capture in the southern side in his home base. But Anatan, 12 minutes is not the timing that you want to be capping that. Usually you're at like the eight minute mark or so. Longbow number very healthy at 14, but now starting to kind of fall back and play the more defensive game with that secondary TC drop. He knows that his eco will start to climb further and further and further, and Anatan will have to keep security of the sacred sites to get that eco bonus on his side. Other than all the free technologies, we're starting to finally see finish and come on through with horticulture being the last in a couple of seconds. Military mass pushing forward for Anatan. It's 34 to 21. Baltoon sh might need to be a little worried about this. Only has six spears into that mass. Is lacking in the longbow numbers comparative to the archers. And so could just effectively lose this fight if Anatan takes it. Men at arms being chosen as a, a unit of choice by Baltoon. Horseman diving towards that wood line, not diving towards it, diving on the wood line. Longbow's there as reinforcements, so Spears there as well. Good body blocking by these men at arms. So again, Anatan losing a few extra units than need be, only for one single villager pickup when Baltoon's on two TCs. Not a good trade for himself. Anatan, right as he captures middle sacred site, seems like he has to fall on back. Might be saving up for castle already. Gold from the other sacred site, proving to just be enough. Halfway there on the food count, just needs to slowly let this tick on in, but wants to keep control of this middle sacred site. Still has the military numbers. Takes down a couple of the spears. Horsemen just waiting in the back, getting healed up by that scholar. Sacred Sight back being decapped yet again. And Anatan, I guess, is going to let this one go, which is really surprising here. Oh, stepped on it just a little too late. Scholar is still here. Scholar's close to him, but I think he might just be playing this defense. Well, like. A little too defensively, he, he's not really scouting out what's on the other side and could have the sacred site for himself, which is just a little bit of extra gold income as he goes up to castle. But 
Castle Age on his way. Secondary Mosque is just down as he's going up to Castle as well. And whoa! Alright, so we got the House of Learning coming on in. Not the compound of the Defender. Very odd choice here by Anatan, especially considering... I mean, maybe it's just he's going for a timing push against Baltoon, who has had a huge transition into farms behind this, has allowed that secondary TC to work for him, has Sevenville lead, but more importantly is this farm transition. Wheelbarrows through, horticultures through, and these farms are going to be booming for the English. This 800 gold or food per minute is about to skyrocket and equalize what Anatan's doing. First upgrade coming through is Hone Blades. Takes five minutes to come through. So it's not like it's like this quick timing push. Although... Baltoon is at a lack of tech and a lack of military numbers if Anatan were pushing this. But he's not. He's just just letting Baltoon wall on up. He is getting his techs all started, which is nice for him, and uh, grabbing up those relics. As I heard, two picked up, I believe. And those are further from the side of Baltoon and should be able to get a 5 to 0 relic differential, I, I believe. White Tower, though, being dropped. It's already at about a quarter of the way. We'll call it half the way now. And the White Tower just secures this perfect middle location. The wood line, the farms behind it, the TCs behind it. Anatan will have to chop through or burn through. And we saw how ineffective it was last game when he was trying that as well. He's doubling the military count, but can't do anything with that military that he has. So in reality, these resources could have gone somewhere else. Could have gone into, you know, more eco behind it or, uh, you know, a different uh, landmark. Maybe some keeps. Who knows? Three minutes, 17 seconds left until that Hone Blades upgrades comes on through. So maybe Anatan's just going to go for this huge timing attack. Still hasn't secured the middle sacred site behind this. Instead, three relics. Nope, two relics still. I think, uh, yep, there's one more. Third one getting picked on up. And then fourth one and fifth should come on after that. The huge military mass of Anatan looks to be circling around the question is, is can it get to this damage in time wedge rivets two minutes and 40 seconds would love to be able to prioritize this upgrade mass from baltoon just slow transition slow moves on over defends this mass away anatan still this is the problem with delhi you can't have this like timing attack because you have to wait so long for these upgrades two minutes and 30 he doesn't have a scholar inside. He's he's lacking the scholars, I feel like. Needed a few more scholars in uh, production. Maybe could have used an extra mosque. And there's the scholars, but just now capturing the sacred sites. And this is allowing Baltoon's vill count to keep climbing. You see that food income per minute, 1,600. Anatan running lower on the berries. We'll have to run further and further out on the map. And uh, that gets to start getting scarier and scarier. 80 to 43 on the military, though. Another set of farms coming in for Baltoon. He's about to be at like 2,500 food per minute in just a second. And needs to utilize that to climb his military numbers up. Equalize what is going on on Anatan's side. Everything is timing up for about a minute and a half timing attack. So at 21 minutes is really when Anatan should take that first massive fight. And should feel really good about it if he takes it then. As that is when all of his key upgrades come through. But look at Baltoon. He's already got his men at arms. Chatted arms is about to be through. 
extra range damage about to be through as well. And this is the ability to pay for upgrades. We see the quick burn come through. Anatan just chooses to fall on back. Still has a minute until those necessary upgrades that he wants on in the bank. Walls just being rebuilt. He has so much military. Just can't do anything at all with it. An outpost being built as well. He's up at triple digit military, but only one single worker kill has happened in this game so far. We are at above 2,000 food per minute for Baltoon. Anatan continuing to fall 800 food per minute. Just not really focusing on those resources. Needs to maybe take some map control, but instead, House of Learning is this timing attack play. This timing attack play is going to be Anatan's do or die situation. I said 21 minutes. He breaks into the base. It is 21 minutes. All those upgrades just finish on up. But look at the minute arms number. It's 27 minute arms. And and there's only what is that eight crossbows only one here with the fight he doesn't have any crossbows with this fight he loses this completely network upgrade 12 villagers inside the secondary tc and the knights actually pull away going for vil kills archers trying to just snipe down all the longbows on the other side Vill's even being pulled, utilizing those short bows. More knights coming in as reinforcements on the front side. Anatan needs needs this mass and needs this mass desperately bad. But look at the military numbers just like that. Baltoon has basically equalized this. Hasn't taken too many Vill losses as he is still up 20 villagers. Does have a lot idled, moving around, running around, but starting to push Anatan's mass back and does have that defender's advantage. Anatan's food income, 400 food per minute. He's got no food. He went mass onto the stone now. 37 vils on stone. Now he has no food though, no production. Baltoon steps back until he gets the network bonus. That's when he wants to take the fight. Once that extra attack speed, once those extra, basically an extra 25% uh, percent army there with him. You can see him just sniping down these knights with one shot. It's basically just infantry on the other side now. Once the frontline men at arms get taken out, all the archers will get sniped down so easily from everything Baltoon has. And Baltoon is pushing Anatan back so effectively. Anatan massing up some units into White Tower, throwing units away, and starting to not look good for the Delhi Sultanate. Anton looks like he might be going for that secondary sacred site, but as we just hovered over, there's an outpost there with a sprinkled upgrade, so he will not be met with any happiness here. Not only that, his main archer mass has been pushed back. The longbows just still continuing to step up, kite down all these units as we run as they run away. And Baltoon, you can already see it on the count. He's up 50 overall population on Anatan and it's just gonna get worse and worse as he is the one on two TCs he's the one with all this extra food production to be able to support more military production the keep drop happens it's on that wood line I said wood lines would be a worrisome spot for Baltoon he does have the wood line in the west that he has resecured but more importantly he has the military mass to be able to resecure whatever he wants Anatan 15 villagers in the center. They got to run. That was all his food eco. He has no food. He's got zero food. No farm transition. No wood in sight. He's got eight farms. This Nine farms? Eight farms. One's on wood. That's all his food. He's on the berries on the side of... Uh, nope. He chops through. And going for Siege, I guess he's going for an all-in now, but I'm not really sure what he's thinking. Maybe he's tired. Maybe he just wants this game to end. And this game is sure about to end with Baltoon pressing the base of Anatan. 71 military. The script has been flipped upside down and Baltoon charging the base. 
about to just call game about to just end it villagers just running they don't know where to go they don't know what to do He's got half his eco on Baltoon's side, the other half trying to fast build this keep that has all of Baltoon's army just firing down on top of this. It's about to just be triple the economy, well, triple the overall population of Anatans. Keep does finish, but at what cost? What good does this do? Men in arms just running in to tank the keep fire on the other side. Baltoon has plenty of resources to do this with the English farms. Just so much food and idling is more than worth it. Anatan, 30 idle villagers, more getting taken down, more running. He's only down to 54 economy, 10 military. He's got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere, nothing to do, no way to hold. Villagers on the gold, Baltoon's everywhere. And game is called a 2-0 by Baltoon.